what's happening guys welcome back to another video hopefully everybody's doing great in today's shebang video we are working on this puppy right here i've uh been neglecting it uh with the rust spots and whatever not the little perfection so we are hitting that today i already kind of sanded them down for the most part most of them like the imperfections and whatnot and i spray some primer over it it's not done yet obviously i still have to send it down again and then uh do a little bit bond oven and whatnot and on top of that i am um, it has this little lip inside over here of the fenders so i'm gonna go ahead and uh probably sand them down get them flat for the most part and uh, see if there's any rust on the back and then spray it. I do have a, uh, I guess it's some uh, stuff to like stop um, rust or whatever. And then we got some rubberized on the coating that I will be using for that too. So yeah, enough of the talking, let's uh, get this going. All right, so both wheels are off now. It looks like this uh, it it's been um undercoated already, but I'll still spray some under it. I mean, it won't hurt it. I am gonna get the grinder and uh, try to fix this stuff a little bit here, make it look a little better, and then uh, probably gonna pull this. Shit, you can't see it pull that lip out and then uh grind it down and get it uh clean up somewhat and there's this side yeah this side looks like it needs a little bit more love oh there we go yeah then we got just trying to see it's got some rust there probably take this off maybe and then see that definitely needs a repair but not as bad 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 as i thought it was gonna be yeah it ain't pretty but that'll be better once we're done so let's get to it remember guys safety first or last just be careful though you really don't want to mess with this stuff and lose an eye or whatever so let's get to it all right so we just cut all this off this whole piece right here look at this yep, now we are gonna uh, i'll try to use some uh shit there just grind it down get it somewhat clean i guess yeah all right so i just got done grinding most of it out uh, there and then over here and uh, right there and then up top here hopefully you guys can see there um yeah so you want to make sure you grind it down to the bare metal and then add all the good stuff look at this shit. i need a new brace here this just falling apart fuck ohio man um yeah now i'm uh I don't know if I should put that, this, or should I put um, primer and then the undercoat on there. So we'll see. We'll do that next. Alright, so I just sprayed that rubber stuff. Undercoating rubber. Rice bullshit, look at that. It's nice and fancy. Uh, hopefully that'll keep it from getting worse. So I did a primer and then put that over it. Hopefully, it'll be good. So now, just leave this to chill here for a while and then uh, let's get to the other side. That one should be fun. So this part's really gonna be fun. Uh, that shit's gone down there. That's not good. Uh, but I'll probably, I'll find a way to fix it. Don't worry. Just, yeah. Sand all this bullshit down. I'm not sandy. I'm using this crap. And then uh, I'm going to cut this off and then cut it all off through the, through the whole way. 
Yep. Sit down and enjoy this bullshit. All right, so this is what we got done today. Uh, so I already put everything back together for the most part. I didn't want to bore you guys with all this shit. So I already did the Rhino Liner bullshit and whatever not. And as I knew, since I knew from the beginning this was going to be a pain in the ass over here on this side, um, I'm going to just leave it like this. I'm not done with it. I'll keep the video going. I have to keep sounding it on this side, whatever not. And then, uh, fix this roll over here um the car coming from florida you'd think oh florida doesn't have rust yeah sure sure pal this car lived its whole life in florida so i brought it over here and then but um yeah we're gonna take care of this we'll we'll fix it and uh this part right here hopefully you can see the shit all this so yeah, it should be fun. It'll be fun for sure. And then uh, I'll keep, probably take this bumper off. Fix this shit right here. Check to see if it has any more rust and then just try to fix all the rust. Get it all out of the way. But that's gonna be for this part. So I'll catch you on the other side. All right, so we are back at it again. Another day. Uh, Already got the stuff that I need, so it's uh, it's go time now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this down again, take all the paint out, and then I got some uh, prep spray, to clean it up, and then this rust barrier bullshit. Hopefully, it'll do the trick. Should, and then put some fiberglass and all that good stuff on it. So. Let's get on it. So I got this down to the bare metal again. Whatever. And then I took the side skirt out. I had a little rust spot here, so I grinded it down and then I'm putting some of this where there go. This bullshit. Um, figure I'm already doing this so I might as well take care of as much as I can. It's gonna be a nice little project, huh? And I put some of that all over here so yeah, now I just gotta wait for it to dry and then move on to the fun stuff okay may have gotten a little carried away uh, that's off too uh, figure I fix that too and I have to send these boys down here and prime them and all that so figure let's take care of it now right that's off and this is off not too shabby so yeah fun job this is gonna take forever but if I do it now they have to do it later so I just spray some undercoating on it all over that here and on the other side too hopefully that'll help for the future so I just put that body filler nice and ugly just gotta wait a couple minutes probably like 20 minutes 20 to 30, so it can dry off and then I have to sand, sand it down but we almost there step closer for sure it's a mess all right so we already did the filler fiberglass filler or whatever not now we got uh, this other stuff here and then uh, we'll sand it down and then prime it and then do the other side that should be fun all right just applied that and now i have to wait for it to dry then we uh sand it down with a 320 and shouldn't have that much more left after that if i'm doing it right Alright, so I'm pretty much done with this side for now. It's all pretty smooth. It's all smoothed out and everything. Um, still waiting for the primer to get here. So, so I ordered it online. And uh, of course, Amazon, it takes forever now. At least for me. But um, yeah, pretty much done with this side now. And then I'm gonna 
jump to the other side. Probably take the bumper out and see if it has any rust on the back or not. Get that taken care of while I'm doing this and then keep it going. All right, so I just put the bond on this side. Now I'm waiting for it to cure. And then I'll sand it down and put the other coat. So I used the 220 grit on the orbital sander. Now I wasn't planning on getting it all down because I had to put another coat of uh, Bondo. And uh, it was just a little helpful, a little better than just doing it by hand. It's a bitch. So yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and clean it and then put the other stuff on there and then wait for it to dry and then sand it some more all right now i just put some hard air on there and i gotta wait for it to to get hard and then uh not get hard and then go ahead and sand it down again hopefully this side's quicker and then uh this part right here i did buy some uh sheet metal i'll probably cut it off somewhere around there and then put it on there because I don't really want to have to mess with filling that thing up with bondo and whatever not not doing that so hopefully it'll be better all right guys we're back another day I uh, I went ahead and primer all this stuff this whole side doesn't look too horrible it has its uh, spots and whatever not right here and here whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and I got some spot putty that I'm gonna put on there wait for it to dry and then it should fill them up for the most part I still have the other side to sand but I probably won't bore you guys with it yeah that's been there for a little while now so that's gonna be fun to sand down and then I did paint the fenders they're over here well I just primer them look way better now so probably go ahead and do that now put them back on there now and then keep sanding away also just took the front bumper out and I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up scotch it a little bit more so I can uh, primer and that way it'll look a little better a little bit more decent I guess oh there they are all tying up and nicely it looks better than what it did honestly I just paint the whole car that color <laughs> JK but uh yeah that's that wasn't too bad and the clearance on the crack it's good so i open it here maybe no we're good yeah we good now to this puppy here this will really make the difference we'll see all right now for this they usually come prime from the buyers or whatever but the primer is really not all that great before paint so for what I've seen you can use some Ajax yeah like to wash it clean stuff and some scotch bright I don't think they recommend this one they recommend like a like a, I guess it's like a gray one but I'm gonna use this one anyways this is what I got and then you just want to go across the whole bumper and take that like see how it has well, probably can't tell I already did it I already went over it once but um it has like it's like shiny you want to take the shine off have it all dull and then you'll be able to prime it so let's do that let's see how it goes all right so you you want to make sure you get through all the little crevices and whatever not right here like here in the corners and all that stuff because if we paint it and that stuff it's not completely sanded that's when you get the paint to like just chip away quick so now we're just gonna wait for it to dry see if I have any more uh, work to do on it and then if not clean it up and then prime it all right so I just cleaned it off as best as I could and uh it's looking so Hopefully we don't fuck it up too much. So let's go. Let's do it. 
So I finished painting the bumper yesterday. I didn't record the whole thing, but I did uh, three coats. Came out pretty decent, pretty good for what it is. Yep, I got the primer everywhere, so that's that's what matters. Looks good enough. Now I'm gonna have to put the the mesh back on there. And uh, well, what is this? what I was talking about I'll probably just grind that out a little bit and yeah put the mesh back on and mount it see how it looks and fix the fitment hopefully it won't be too fucked up but yeah all right guys so I already put the front end back together it's looking mighty nice I'd say yeah it looks good not too bad then I had to mess with the fitment on the hood just the fenders that were hitting on the top corner but it's all uh, it's all gushy now now back to this bs man this has been a nightmare I'm not even gonna lie and i still have the other side to do i'm just delaying it and delaying it but gotta get it done now all right so i just finished all of it for now for today at least it's not the best, but it uh, definitely looks better than it did before. Um, and I did this side too. I didn't really want to bore you guys too much with too much crap. Look at them hard lines right there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it ain't perfect, like I said. But it definitely looks way better than it did before. I am going to find a, a way to fix this hole right here. Because like I said previously, I'm not trying to bundle that shit. I think I'll have either my boy if he can do it or find a shop to do it honestly i don't know we'll see but that's uh that's gonna be a wrap for this episode i'll probably make another episode of it I don't, that way i don't make this video longer than it is already so um hopefully you guys enjoyed and it's nothing perfect honestly i'm just trying to learn save some time and money maybe hopefully they don't have to redo the whole thing but i don't think so but we'll see um so stay tuned for the next one uh make sure you get some merch on the description like comment and subscribe see you in the next one